You've got mail. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Red Box. Today we have part two of opening Pokemon mail, where uh, I get some Pokemon collectibles in my post and uh, I share those with you guys. I cross out the addresses on each package um, because it's, it's, uh, it's better to keep the privacy this way. But anyhow, if any of you guys wants to know a little bit more of where I get my products, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll make sure to reply. So let's get it rolling. The first envelope we have here, uh, which is probably a card by the feel of it, is coming from Australia. So let's see what Australia has for us on our first Pokemon mail of the day. Hello, Mr. Surfing Pikachu. So uh, this guy goes to our Pikachu folder. Uh, like I told you in part one, I have a Pikachu collection among other um, other folders where I collect and need a lot of single cards. So most of the times I order cards that I haven't been able to pull myself. I order them online wherever I find them for a reasonable price. The next one is coming from LA. USA, Los Angeles has sent us uh -huh, some uh, baseball cards in the back. And then we have another Pikachu for the collection. Uh, and I believe we do have more than one inside. So let's pop this open and see what we receive. Yeah, so that's a Pikachu. And uh, huh, for some reason, they just sent us a bunch of uh, gift cards, a bunch of uh, extras. Yeah. Luis Quinones. Do you want this guy? Because I don't collect these, but hey, guys, thanks anyway. LA sending us gifts. Next time, just send another Pikachu, yeah? Because uh, Max Venable and uh, Luis Quinones the, the don't go well on my Pikachu collection. Anyhow, we move forwards. The next one uh, is also coming from Australia, uh, Melbourne, at least it says here. And uh, we shall see what is inside carefully. So, and ha, ah, we have quite a few singles here to show you guys. So uh, this one is coming from, can you see, I believe so, Pokemon Cards Australia for all your Pokemon card needs. So visit those, uh, visit uh, these guys. Um, maybe they have something you need. Pokemon cards, uh, AUS from Australia dot com. Thank you, Kathy Dixon, that sent us a Rayquaza regular form. Let's open this carefully because they are all here together. From Melbourne, we have multiple cards here on this sleeve, so we're gonna open them nicely. We have Rayquaza, regular rare. We have Polyrath, regular rare. It on top. Uh, Ho-Oh, regular rare. We actually pulled this one uh, just a week ago, uh, but we now have two of them. And then we have in the next sleeve Again, a few singles that are missing in my Pokedex folder that I order like this so that uh, I complete my collection. Cast form. Waylord, regular rare. Pidgeot, regular rare. And Huntail. And on the last sleeve of this package from Australia, we have Staraptor, regular rare. Armaldo, regular rare and Macargo. So all of these are for the same collection, for the Pokedex regular. So where I store, where I collect all my cards that are not holographic or reverse holographic or full art. Then I have two more um, Pokedex collections. One is the holographic version and the other one is the reverse holographic version. Next up, we go to China.
oh, this is really well packaged, and or then I'm just being too careful. But you know what? Imagine ordering a nice collectible and sticking a knife into it and uh, ruining the value and ruining the product that you have ordered. Imagine how that would feel. So I, I prefer to be careful like this. And one day these things might even be worth more than I paid for them. All right, guys, I'm going to need a minute here. So uh, see you in a bit. And we're back. This will be um, going for another collection of mine, which is for the Pokemon trading figure game. This was a very limited um, collection, very limited edition of uh, one of my favorite games ever. This game is amazing. And uh, if you don't know this game, um, the Pokemon sits on a uh, base like this. And uh, if you see, the base has... Uh, can you see in the camera? I'll try to make you be able to see. Yeah. So anyhow, the Pokemon sits on a base and you flip it and then there's a little arrow that shows you what the Pokemon will then do to the opponent's uh, Pokemon. So this one is Manaphy. Yes. And then we have a bunch of other ones here. Very nice ones. We have Execute. So there was one official um, edition of this and then a, a second one that was cancelled right before it came out and I have figures from that one um, because the, the companies that made those figures then after a while started selling those obviously at double and triple the price. Another Manaphy here so I do get uh, a couple of um, repeats but I'm totally fine with that because when you play the game both players can have the same figure then we have a bay leaf stage one for Chikorita if you remember these figures are very nice uh, they are very detailed and uh, I really enjoy the game itself so it's not only a very nice collectible but uh, it's also a great game to play. Very easy, but very entertaining. Check out the Pokemon trading figure game. Uh, there was an app that I also played on my phone called Pokemon um, Quest. Was it Pokemon Quest? No. Next Quest was the name of the actual, the original name of, the, of this game. But the app was called Pokemon Duel. Now I remember. Pokemon Duel. And uh, it was also really nice, but unfortunately, as of this year, 2019, uh, they are no longer updating that app either, because they are focusing all of their... Uh... Oh, this one is a little bit stuck. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, as of this year, 2019, they are no longer updating the app. I think they are focusing all of their efforts in Pokemon Go, which is... A huge game worldwide. It's amazing how many people play that game. Matt Champ we have here. Look at the level of detail in these figures. These are really, really great. Even if you don't like the game, I mean, for collectors, these figures are a must-have. So that's half of it. And then we still have another half. Look. Wow, guys. I'm really happy with this package. Uh, it's very rare to find such a variety. So, and, uh, and I found... This uh, old collector that had all of these different figures, such a big variety of them that I, I just had to order a bunch. Plus, I ended up making a very good uh, deal on these. So I do get a few repeats, but it's worth it. Seviper, if I remember correctly. Also, the name is here, so we can check. Yes, Seviper. What about you guys? What do you collect? What are your uh, Pokemon collectibles? Uh, I know that the most mainstream ones, let's call, or the, the most uh, popular ones are probably the cards and uh, the minifigures. This one is probably a little bit underground. Uh, if you don't know the game, you have no way to search for these anyhow, unless you stumble upon them on some eBay channel or something. 
Here we have another Gyarados. Oh, this Gyarados is amazing. Look at this guy. The level of detail on these figures is, is really, really nice. So again, I encourage you to check these out. The Pokemon Trading Figure Game. Pokemon Next Quest was the original name of the game. And uh, I might show you how to play it uh, later on, either in this video or in another video. I'm not sure. We'll see how long this one takes. But uh, if you saw the my intro video, you also saw a few short images of the Next Quest game. And then we have a trainer. We have Erika, the trainer. So there's a, a few trainer figures uh, that also help you during the game. So for example, if you see this one, it has a big uh, part of the wheel that says success and that has a, short, a small one that says miss. So if you were to rotate the figure and if it, if it would drop here on the miss, that means that your attack would do nothing. And we move on. Now with all of these figures here, uh, we move on to the next package. And the next package shall be this one coming from China. I made a few cuts here already when I saw the first one because I believe that these will be more figures. Jackpot. There you go. Is this Christmas or what? We're gonna get a bunch of these uh, double ones, but really, like I told you, I don't mind. Here's another one, a croconaw. So we have gotten this guy already. And uh, here's another one. If you guys are interested in any of these figures that I have doubles and triples of, let me know in the comment section or uh, please visit our website, redboxcollections.fi or uh, visit my eBay store where I will probably put some of these uh, that I have maybe three or four of because yeah even though I really like them maybe I don't need four of each you guys can get it for a good price and add it to your own collection another Gyarados this one for example is a very good for you guys to add to your collection not only because of the level of detail and how cool they are but also because if you play with them look at this Hyper Beam, 100 damage. That's worth playing with. Now a few of these are stuck here on the tape, so I'm gonna have to be careful pulling them out. We have another Croconaw. Uh, if I get some doubles now, again, I will probably skip them and show you just the new ones that you haven't seen. So here we have, for example, an Aaron, which you haven't seen yet. Here's the Aaron. Uh, next we have one that you haven't seen either. We have a Pikachu, which of course is one of my favorites. Very nice Pikachu there. Uh, the next one is a double, so we'll put them to the side. The next one you haven't seen, so we have a Wishmore here. Look at this. Really, the level of detail on these. This is amazing. This Wishmore is really crying a lot. So fighting and crying at the same time. And we dig deep here in this box. Next one is a, a repeat, so we don't show repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. But then we still have one part here that is to be opened. What treasures does it hold? Still let me know in the comments, like I asked, what are your Pokemon collectibles and uh, if, you, if you have any other sort of collectibles, what are they? If not Pokemon, then what are they? Uh, here's a new one for you. A nice tiny Snorlax. This one has definitely been played with. There's a few scratches, but it's quite alright. Still in great condition. I will not say no to that. Uh, another Manaphy, another Machamp, another Pinsir, another Croconaw, another Bayleaf, and we finish in good style. Look at this guy coming from the bag. The legendary Suicune. So this is definitely a guy that you want to have in your team when you're battling in the 
Pokemon trading figure game. And we move on. More uh, figures. Huh. Did I go a little bit overboard or did they, did they send me two times my order? That's also possible. Anyhow, another really, really well-packed box. So I'll be right back in a minute. Here we go. Finally, we have our last box of Pokemon trading figure game. Uh, yeah, sorry it took a while, but this, this uh, package comes in a way that is really challenging to open. Oh, goodies, 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 and I see plenty of new ones here. So, here we go. Here we have another trainer. Uh, this is a trainer called Yellow, which is basically just another version of Ash. He can be called Yellow or Blue or Ash or uh, how many na different names I've seen. Another... Um, Double, so I won't show you the doubles, I'll just move onwards to the next one. This is not a double. Here we have a Dark Ray. Look at this, another good addition for your team. Uh, I believe these all these figures are hand-painted, so that adds to the value. Uh, as a collector, um, hand-painted figures are hard to come by, and uh, these are really nice ones. And we have a Mawile, I think it was the name. Yeah. Or Mawile. Mawile. And next we have a Nuzleaf. Big nose guy. Look at that. A little bit like me. Then we have, oh, another fan favorite. And, of course, one of my favorites as well. Flareon. Evolution. Or Evolution, evolution of EV. Uh, then another double, and this one is not a double. We have Haunter, creepy Haunter. Look at that. And next we have Goldeen. Also first one. Oh, this is so well made. This is impressive. I really, really like these figures. I mean, if you if you collect minifigures, um, this is like a two-in-one, right? Because it's a minifigure and you, you can play an actual game with it. So, awesome uh, idea from the Pokemon company. Unfortunately, they didn't continue it. And the reason was exactly because it was so expensive to produce, right? That was it. Look, this box is now empty. And we must move forward to the next one. This is the attack of the minifigures. We move now to Japan. So I think we have two boxes from Japan. And these must be, these have to be our pop and step. So for example, I think this bigger box has the, the three starters. Charmander, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. And I think this one is the individual one for Eevee. So let's start with, uh, with Eevee. It is Eevee. Or in uh, Finnish, reading with the Finnish accent, Eve. Wouldn't you like to live in Finland, just to call this little guy Eve? But look, the Japanese are even weirder than us. They call him Eevui. Eevui. Sure, why not? So this is our uh, Eevee pop and step. We're going to leave him in the box for now until we open all of them. And then we're going to connect them all together with Pikachu, the first one we got. And we are going to make them sing and dance for us. 